What's up, boot camp fam? It's your girl, Hazelie, here to drop the flame from this week's episode. Okay, you guys, I wanna give you a heads up because after this, there's only one episode left. Yes, one. And you do not wanna miss the season finale. It is off the chain. So let's get into this week's hot sheet. So lie detector test day has arrived in the house and everyone is on edge about it. They look like they're coming out of some court shows. Some like, I'm watching Law & Order for real. Are you using Hazel for the fame? Because that's what you want to know. Oh man, Devon, if you fail, brother man, you might just have to get a job. Matter of fact, start applying now. Figure it out. Medina had some really good advice for Tahiri, and of course, Devon had something to say about it. I always date the problem children. You gotta learn how to send unconditional love to people that may not be willing to change. They don't bother you that he be talking to like every girl in the house? I don't be tripping on nothing like that. I don't micromanage no men, no relationship. Yeah, right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yourself, I don't, I don't really have, yeah. I just feel like, you know, we came in this house together. I haven't really gotten along with these females too much. So I just don't feel like you should really be engaging in too much conversation, period. You know, as the day went by, emotions were everywhere. Now that the lie detector test is actually here. Unfortunately for Davon, I didn't have to take the test given my health issues. So he wasn't gonna get an answer from me. The questions Davon had are extremely important. Once your body's in a healthier state, you guys need to sit down and have those discussions. She gets her results, but I don't get mine. How is that fair? The only thing we did find out is that three people aren't as real as they say they are. For three of you, deception was indicated. Oh. Everyone was so anxious awaiting these results, but of course. I have the results, and I will give them to you tomorrow. What? Have a good evening. Are you kidding me? So the tricks continue from Dr. Ish. He gives us a hall pass. It's kind of weird. I haven't really gotten along with these girls too well, but you know, in the spirit of, you know, being free for the evening, you know, I went along with it. Of course, you know, what kind of party would it be if the baby wasn't there? We need this. We need a girl time. We need a drink. I'm tired. I don't want anything to do with marriage boot camp tonight. Given the current state and everything that's going on, I'm like, call pass for the night, that sounds fun, but I'm trying to see what's up with Devon and did he pass his lie detector test. The guys seem to be having a great time. But you know, I see some loyalty on Devon's end. He was missing your girl. He didn't have time for none of them other chickens and he definitely wasn't out talking about he was single. It gets you away from that. That's not a good look. We ain't about to have no girls in this section unless it's my girl. You know it's one person who always parties just a little too hard, and that was my man Davon. He got wasted with the capital W. Yeah. Damn, you all right? You good? Uh oh, oh, oh. He was living his best life, his first time out the house, and his first time partying in LA. Live it up, bae. Only one more episode left, fam. Here's what you can expect on next week's season finale of Marriage Bootcamp, the Hip Hop Edition. The results of the lie detector test are in. Deception is indicated amongst three boot campers. Some tough decisions will have to be made. And finally, who will get their ring on decision day? And who will leave the house? A single Pringle. Make sure you guys tune in to the season finale of Marriage Bootcamp, the Hip Hop Editions, Thursday, 9, 8 central. And after the episode, come back here to YouTube with me for the hot sheet. I'll see you guys next week.